In her second year as St. George's first female mayor, Michelle Randall welcomed a crowd of around 300 or more people at the Dixie Center for the annual State of the City Address. While recognizing several upstanding employees in the city, Mayor Randall told the story of one canine coming to the rescue of another who was injured in the line of duty. Last month, Hurricane Canine Rico was stabbed in the neck by a man during a police confrontation. Rico needed an emergency blood transfusion. In stepped K-9 Enzo. Blood from Enzo allowed Rico to survive the trip to Las Vegas to get more treatment. Because of Enzo and fabulous veterinarians in Las Vegas, Rico's back at work. These canines are so important to our police departments. She then introduced St. George's new city manager who talked about the growth and in infrastructure moving forward, which includes the city's master plan over the next 20 years. This is the first time we've actually looked at it and said, all right, what do we want to be in 20 years? What do we want our downtown to look like? What do we want our building heights to look like? What do we want our downtown to be? New city hall building. This is going to be a major addition to our downtown area. The city has acquired the property that's kind of the northeast intersection of Main Street and 100 South. This is a view looking pro probably from like Town Square kind of looking east. This is uh, another, another perspective. This is probably looking from 100 South looking north. That's a, that's a plaza that can, that can be used for events, um, gathering, you know, different gatherings for the community. We're actually hoping to, to break ground later on this year. This is an exciting, exciting project. Water is a major concern due to the growth of the area and many projects are directed in saving and reusing water. So none of the growth we've experienced would be possible without water. This year, the city council adopted a comprehensive water conservation ordinance that affects all new growth. And we're still trying to find new ways to um, establish new sources of water. Right now, we are in the midst of construction of phase two of the wastewater treatment plant project. Right up here, we're bu building two new um, clarifiers. And it may come to the point where this is our, our second water source. Right now, we use our reuse water on our parks, our medians, um, our golf courses. We are retrofitting the four oxidation ditches to new stage aeration process. And this is going to help us have the capacity to treat 24 million gallons of wastewater a day. Currently, we're treating 17 million gallons of wastewater a day. This is the Santa Clara Power Station. The city owns this property, and we are building a reservoir there. And this reservoir will store reuse water. It's going to store up to, I think, 12 or 1,400 acre feet of water. And so during the winter, we can pump our reuse water up to this reservoir and save it for the summertime. The mayor also highlighted new attractions coming soon. This is going to be called the Fossil Falls Community Park. Construction has begun and should be completed sometime in June. Then we have the Broken Mesa Park. This is in Desert Canyon. This is also a park that the residents have been begging for for as long as Desert Canyon has been there. This is some land we donated to St. George Musical Theater for them to build their new musical theater. Do you know that this clubhouse is 41 years old and has never been remodeled? It's being improved right now. And one of the things that it'll have is a food vendor in this uh, clubhouse. Station one, it's our main fire station. It is on 1000 East. And it has become extremely hard to get out of there with a fire engine. And it is also quite small, not enough offices, not enough room for trainings. And so it will be moved to where the port, the Flood Street Chapel was. And part of us buying that property, the LDS Church said whoever bought the property, the chapel had to go. And so uh, we've just demolished the chapel. We did save bricks for people who wanted to go get a souvenir. And this will mean, it, this station on Flood Street will be our main fire station. It will go from 7,500 square feet to 20,000 square feet. And coming soon, Station 10. 
This will be in Desert Canyon. And transportation and access continue to be a big part of growth. Right, this is a cloud drive, is a new roadway um, just off of Tech Ridge development on the south uh, west side. Um, it provides additional, an additional access to Tech Ridge. Eventually we will have a connection um, where it terminates down on Indian Hills Drive. Eventually we will have a, another bridge across the river right there, across the Santa Clara onto Dixie Drive. You've probably noticed a little bit of construction on Dixie Drive um, between Valley View Drive and Canyon View Drive. Um, a roadway has a life expense expectancy of about 20 years. There are times where we have to reconstruct the road. This is a segment of roadway that we have to reconstruct. From St. George, Melissa Anderson Community, Education News.